boys, I think you need this, this old school, old school special. Just for the good old days. What? <laughs> Flatfish, but, and whitey people. Does it get any better than that? That is a pretty big dab, actually. Good size of that one. That's a good one. Wow, that was a really good fishing session there. Good beach trip for a change. But what I like doing is eating these kiddies. I had some in Ireland with Michael. Really good, fresh, caught fresh, straight up the beach with the boat, light the fire, cook them. We were gobsmacked. If we had to ask ourselves, what do you think Mike is the best fish and what do you think Graham is the best fish? We both came up. Dabs. We both doubled on dabs. So what do you do? I've already taken the gut cavity out, the bloodline in there. Now, the tip to do, we just cooked ours and I take fillets of them. Get a pair of scissors and take the fins off. You get rid of the tail, you're not going to eat the tail. I hope these aren't the worst, best darning scissors. Just trim, as you can see that there, I'll move around a bit for you. You trim all this, the frill, the frill of the uh, edge, the fins. They all come off, both sides. Dead easy to do. I mean, look, you can fillet them if you want to fillet them. We actually did fillet ours when we used to uh, eat them in iron. You don't have to. And also, space saving, just whack that head off till you've got just a chunk of meat. If the wife comes in and sees what I'm doing with her scissors. She's not going to be best pleased, is she? Now, you can also rinse under the tap and give them a scrape, any bits of gunk on them or scales or anything you want coming off get them under the tap first do a good chance to uh, clean the bits of them any bits of meat in there look just pull them out wash out that bloodline don't have to give a good scrape in any way they're an island Right out of the deep water of the Atlantic, they are pristine fish. This one, called Inshore of the South Coast, I'm not going to say it's going to taste anything like the other ones we had, it may well not. But we've got to give it a try. Quite a, a rare fish to catch off the South Coast now. So that's already done. This is so simple, it's ridiculous. All you do now is drizzle a little bit of olive oil over it, like that, because the olive oil is there. I tend to do this, then give it some, some salt. Now when we had them in Ireland, they tasted so lovely with salt, it was ridiculous. I mean, they were exquisite. It's a whole fish, just a little bit of olive oil on there. I tend to smear it about my fingers, like that. Some salt on them. Now how simple is that, people? This just goes into the grill, a hot preheated grill, dark side up because most of the meat's going to be on the upside, on the, on the dark side. So I've got the grill there, it's currently hot. There's the grill, I'll put a bit of silver foil there so it doesn't run all over the bottom of the grill. That is hot. Under there, five minutes folks, just five minutes. Now also you'll get a slight curling. I can actually see if I zoom in there. Right, that's had about six minutes guys. I'm not going to touch it yet, but you can see that that is actually flaking away there. It's going to fall contest it. Now we don't often grill fish. Oh yeah, it's falling, absolutely falling away. Beautiful, okay. What I've also done, little tip, just under the grill, I've got a plate warming as well. Yes, I'm not that stupid to put it on a cold plate. There we have one entire dab ready to go. I think that plate's warm enough for me to pick up. Oh, this is hot. Look at that, folks. Look at that. Still steamy, very hot. Oh, it just falls off. It's a good fish. I don't care what people say. There's only one thing I've got that's a bit of a problem. I don't know how to catch any more of them. Enjoy.